It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer today. We've got a beer from Balster Brewery and it's a bottle of the Eclos Zulol. Christmas beer coming in at 6.2% ABV. Red bottle cap. As you would expect for a Christmas beer, why not? And it's only just crossed my mind as I was reading out the label on this beer that Who'd have thought that I would be reviewing a Christmas beer from Eclos, from Balster Brewery? Because if you remember, um, my good friend Johan in Sweden sent me a bottle of the barrel aged, whiskey barrel aged Imperial Stout. And it was a very, very good beer. It was an excellent beer. And I was talking about, back in September this was, or maybe August, August, that System Bole, the government-owned chain of shops, were going to stop Balster Brewery beers from being put in their shops. And, and it was going to be a dreadful thing. And, and I spoke with another blogger about it online, and we talked about it live on YouTube. And I, in my review, I was saying it's a shame I'll never review a beer from these guys again. And here we are, lo and behold, three months later, four months later, in December, reviewing their Christmas beer that they kindly sent us. And I got some good news. Balster Brewery now are in, I think they're in a few of the uh, System Bowl stores. So, so happy days, happy days. Beer in the glass. For a Christmas beer, it's almost certain, oh it won't focus, right here we go, let's start again. For a Christmas beer, it's almost certain to have a red tinge to it, because it's Christmas, and this one certainly does. Nice levels of carbonation, look at that carbonation rising slowly up the side of the glass. It's a one finger, slightly off white head, and yeah, it's red. What do I expect from this beer? I expect winter spices. I expect a warming sensation. I expect Christmas in a glass. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh. Yes, you do get spices. Yes, you do get that warming, almost Christmas-like nose. But then, there's hops, and there's hops, and there's more hops. It's an American-style Christmas beer. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. And wow, wow, it's like a cross between a Christmas ale and an IPA. It's really bitter on the back end, it's really hopped up. The IBUs have got to be 70 plus. But it's sweet and it's malty and it's bready and it's spicy. And then it's mesmerizingly hoppy. The more I drink it, the more I taste this beer, the more I wash it over my palate, the more hops I realize that are in this beer. A Christmas hoppy beer. Well, I never. It's nicely carbonated. There'll be a lifts on the tongue. There's a bit of sweetness. There's a bit of cherry sweetness, I wanted to say. There's a lot of sweetness up front, but there's an element of that kind of nice cherry, Christmassy, Christmas pudding almost. 
it's it's quite peculiar it really is and as always I don't read a lot of Swedish well I don't read any Swedish at all and I don't put too much on the label what this beer is but in your mind it tricks you because look take a look there's the house in the snow it's obviously a seasonal beer there's the Christmas hat the beers red your mind's thinking Christmas 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 spicy bready malty which it is but I'm just wondering if my mind is taking my palate for a bit of a joyride if it's taking it down the garden path a little bit because of what I'm seeing on the label I don't think so I think it is spicy I think it is more of a ready bready rye beer But what is most utterly unmistakable is that hop present, that massive hop smack on the back end, that grapefruit, that mango, that orange peel, that lemon. And again, if you think about it even more, isn't that fitting if this orange peel and lemon and, and fleshy blood orange and orange? Because you think of orange and lemons at Christmas. It's a mind-bending beer. It's a mind-bending beer. Go and try it. That is Balster Brewery Eklos Julal. It's a fantastic Swedish beer. Rating. I'm going to give that I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. It's one of those surprising beers that just creep up on you and you don't know what you're really going to get. And I like that because after drinking 1850 beers, you need a bit of excitement. You need a bit of difference and a bit of change just to spice things up a bit. And that is the beauty of beer is that it will always, always throw up a surprise. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.